Hey what's going on guys, Tessie Rosie here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.15 and 1.14. So in this one we are going to be going over two things, actually we're going to be going over food and creative tabs. Now the reason I'm going over both of these is because, uh, to put it simple, they are very sim simple. Yeah, they're really simple to do. It's going to take five minutes each maximum. So first thing we're going to do is the creative tab. So in our main class, so mine's tutorialmod.java, we're actually going to create an inner class. So if you drop it down below on server starting, we can create a public static class. And we're just going to call this tutorial item group. Now, I know I call it creative tabs, and most people will call it a creative tab, um, but they are now called item groups. Um, I don't know why they decided to call it that, but there you go. Um, and this is going to extend, oh, got to put a space, it's going to extend item group. Just go ahead and import item group. And there you go. Now in here, we're going to want the constructor and we want the constructor to be private. So a private tutorial item group. And that is going to take in int index and string label. And in here, we're just going to super off of index and the label. There we go. Next, we're going to want the create icon method. And in here, we are going to, this is the icon, basically the item that you want to show up as um, the icon for your tab. So I'm going to return a new item stack. And I'm actually going to use a block, but obviously you can use an item, so you can just go item in it dot test item, for example. But I'm going to be using a block, so block in it dot example block because it's got an amazing texture, just like that. Now, obviously, um, you can't really do much with this actually. I don't think you can. Yeah, if there's any visual stuff, you can do it here, but there's not going to be much visual stuff. So, like, you you can have uh, make it glow, like um, the enchanted golden apple. You can do has effects on the end, and that will make it glow. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it simple. Um, and next, we need an instance of this item group. So, in the class, you're going to want a public static final tutorial item group and we're going to call that instance that's going to equal a new tutorial item group and that's going to be item groups item group dot groups oh dot groups where's groups there it is groups dot length and the label is basically the uh, unlocalized name. So mine's just going to be tutorial tab. Just like that. So now that's our item group. Uh, let's just get rid of this unused import. There we go. Um, I do want to change a little thing here. So it's not too much of a big deal. But right here where we're doing this, I think it would be better to make this a variable so uh, final i event bus and we're going to call this mod event bus and that's going to equal this just like that just import i event bus and then instead of using this twice we can instead just do that there you go 
Um, and I think that's all we want for the main class, so we can close that now. Um, and now I'm actually just going to really quickly show you, actually I'll show you with the food item. So instead of me making a new item, I'm just going to use our second test item here. And first I'm going to show you the item group. So where we got dot group, we can change this to our um, tab class. So tutorial item group dot instance. And there you go. Now that is going to be set to our tab. Um, and also food. So if you do dot on the end of group, you can do dot food. And in here, you're just going to want to basically make a new food. So I think it's new food dot builder. Let's just import food. And then you can do all these different little uh, things here. So I'm just going to do hunger. So the amount of hunger that it's going to give. And that is an integer value. So each half drumstick is going to be one. So for example, if we wanted it to do uh, three drumsticks, that is going to be six. Um, and then we're going to do saturation. So this is a float value. And this is basically the hunger that you can't see. Some mods will show it as like a yellow um, like outline around the drumsticks. Um, and this we're going to put, and it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do 1.2f. I'm not entirely sure how that, how that correlates to the saturation. And then you have a few other things you can do. So you have set always edible. This means you can eat it if you are in creative or uh, if you've got full hunger or you're in peaceful, you can still eat it. So that is a thing you can choose to do. Uh, you've got dot meat. So if you do dot meat, that means that uh, wolves can eat it. Uh, if you do fast to eat, that just means it's fast to eat um, and like like kelp I think that is for dried kelp um, and what we're going to be messing with next is effect so if you do dot effect you can do a new effect instance and in here this is just going to take in effects dot and the effect so I want it to give you uh, absorption and then the next is how long for so the duration and I'm gonna have that as hmm, I'm going to use 6,000 so that is actually in ticks so how long in ticks it is and it is 20 ticks for one second I think uh, if I'm wrong it will say on the screen somewhere but I am wrong but if it doesn't then I'm right um, and the next is the amplifier so what level it is so I want level 5 and just import effect instance and you'll see there is still an error because we need to add the uh, float right here and the float um, let's just check what is it the probability so this is the chances that you get it so zero means you'll never get it one means you will get it every time so I just want uh, 0 0.7 and if you're wondering where this is used this is used for rotten flesh and um, uh, what do you call it the other stuff um yeah raw chicken 
and raw rabbit. Um, so it's basically used for the items that give you salmonella. Um, and that would be like 0 0.9 on rotten flesh and like 0 0.2 on uh, raw chicken and whatever. Now, if you want to add another potion effect, you can just do dot effect after this and just do a new effect instance. I'm not going to do that. Um, I only want one just to keep it relatively simple. Now, you see we still have an error right here on dot food. Now, that is because this is a new food dot builder and it is actually looking for a new food. So what you can do to solve this is just here, I believe, no, nope, not there, there you can do dot build and this will turn it back into a food. So there you go, food, um, as dot build returns the food from the builder, which is you know, nice. And that's actually it, I think, that's it. We've already registered this, so that's not going to be an issue. Let's just save this class to get rid of that error. And yeah, I will see you guys in the game. Oh, you can see we are now in the game. And if we go to our creative inventory, we can see it's now one of two. And if we go to the right, we have this. Oh yes, Lang. That's what I forgot. Okay, so this is very easily fixable. So you just got to remember that it says item group capital G tutorial tap now if you just go back into Eclipse go down to your lang we can add our item group so it is item group dot tutorial tab and that is going to just be tutorial tab Give that a save, reload assets, and there we go. It is now tutorial tab. If we grab our item, you can see which is in the tab. You can eat it. Is that because we set it always edible? I don't remember we set it. Did we set it always edible? Or is all food? Yeah, all food's now edible and creative, isn't it? So if you eat this, we do get absorption for five, six, I mean. And if we go in survival slash game mode survival, you can see we have the hearts. Now let's just get you to punch me. Yeah, punch me as much as you can, please. There you go. You see, we've lost a bit of health. Let's just run around a bit try and make it regain health there you go we are losing it nice 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 there you go and now you will see if we eat it we get healed and it goes up there you go that's that's it really um so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please do be sure to smash the face in that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.